today I'm going to review Maze of the Blue Medusa by Zach Sabbath and Patrick Stewart. I just want to make this clear because I've seen another review of this where the person held up the book and proclaimed it was written by James Rogge and published by Lamentations of the Flame Princess. And that is not true. It says there right on the cover who wrote it. Zach Sabbath, also known as Zach S. and Zach S Smith, and Patrick Stewart, who did not star on Star Trek. Now, this book, when I got it, was wrapped in the highest quality packing that I've ever seen on a book. And it's a really high quality production book. It started as Zach did this painting. And that got turned into a floor plan, which Patrick Stewart wrote most of this for, but Zach Ed did some more writing and they went back and forth a few times. And, and so you know, each section of the painting represents something. And they say there's a floor plan and it's got all these people. It's got codes for what the things on the floor plan mean, which are out of focus. So it's really good, but it's not published by Lamentations of the Flame Princess. It says here, right here, published by Seder Press. So. So. You have a table of contents in here. See, so first on the inside cover, you've got the floor plan and the painting. That painting was too small for me to make out details. So I went and bought the largest size poster I could get so I could just lay it on the table and use it as a battle map type thing. which I've seen somebody do in a video, and I just laid on the table. So here's a table of contents. Here's a, for the DM, what exactly is going on here, and a chronology of events that happen in here. And some guidelines on how to run it. Uh, there's a random encounter table. So here's what the random encounters are. There's the chameleon women. The Rat Leopard, the Negomancer plus 1d4 Thrall Mammals, the Line of Lapis Lazuli, uh, two d4 Cannibal Critics, the Decadent Waste, Pellery of the Walls, Lost Lizard Man, Reptile Woman, Mummy. Uh, D4 Aurum Spectres, Tycho Wart, uh, D 2D4 plus 1 Bandier Reparti, whatever that is. Uh, Torgo's Zoot, Overdose, and Mr. Grasp. The Curator. So then we get to the sections. So it's divided into, as you can see from the colors, it's a really big mega dungeon maze and is divided into several sections which are color coded here. Um, one of them is like a garden, one's an art museum, one is a weird wedding thing. And one of them is a prison filled with people who've been petrified by the Blue Medusa. But in order to get into this, you have to steal this painting here and look at it under the light of the full moon on the night you steal it. And that's such an improbable thing 
that the one time I ran, went through this as a player, we kind of had to be railroaded into it. So it's really improbable that you get into this, but each, there's subsections, you know, the color coats the sections, so this is the big orange section. Now here's a subsection of that, and it has like a little production of the bigger map with some details. And here's a, a map that sh shows you what's where, and they're numbered. And here's a summary of what's in those rooms. And here is a map of the entire maze with the section, the color section we're in, plus even darker is the section that we're talking about here. And almost every subsection has this I search the body chart here, so it's bright, nice and handy. And then it goes into more detail about each of these rooms. So, more detail. And then we have another section. So, here's the map. In dark, it's the, the red section there. In dark is the section we're covering here. Here's the pictures with some captions. Here's the map with numbers, the summary, and more detail. Oops. The, I search the body chart. And there's also the random encounters on almost every subsection here, right there for you. So you can roll random encounters. And we come to another section. So, you know, it's this way for the whole book. And if you look, you can see that the even color code just tell you which part of the big map are you in. You're in the green, in the purple, in the black. Maroon, the blue. Yeah. So, yeah, the blue section is a prison of people who've been petrified by the blue Medusa. Yeah, this one's interesting. He's a writer who's going to write a book. If you rescue him, he'll write a book about all this. And your role in the book is randomly determined. And one of the possibilities is... He portrays you as really into bees. August now come with bee theme for the rest of the life. You will be offered bees by expectant fans, denied bees by enemies, mocked with loss of bees. There's, there's some goat themed creatures in here. Enough of them that charmed goat or Protection from goats are actually useful spells. Yeah, here's our blue Medusa. Uh, and here's like a timeline of things that are going on. And a cast of characters. There's a huge, huge number of unique monsters and unique characters and characters who know each other and react with each other. And I find that this is just a big mess. There are too many unique characters to keep track of for me, but it's really high quality. And it's got the section for notes and graph paper for notes. And on the outside, on the cover, on the back, we have the RAM encounter table, bigger so you can easily see it, and the I search the body table. It's really heavily sturdy made. Let's take a look at that. See how it's stitched together there, and it's got the ribbon. So, it's a really high quality production of something I may never get to run because it's such a big, big module. 
that you would need a dedicated group who's willing to play for a long time to play this. And if you try to do it online, drawing each of these rooms would be a big, big pain. There's lots and lots of characters to run. And so, I'm not sure this will ever be run, and especially after what's happened to Zach. Uh, players I've got now don't want to run in anything he wrote, so I'm not sure this will ever be 